Hi everyone, this is the quick start tutorial for Quest Machine. In this tutorial, we'll set up a basic quest. To start, navigate to the folder Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Quest Machine, Demo, Quick Start, and open the Quick Start scene. In this scene, we've already added a Quest Machine prefab an Input Device Manager prefab, an NPC, and a player. We'll jump straight to writing a quest. The premise is that orcs have stolen Johan the Farmer's money and hidden it in crates and barrels around the village. Johan needs to ask the player to retrieve his money so he can buy seeds for next year's crops. The quest will count the number of coins that the player has picked up. When the player has picked up the required amount, the quest will end. To set up the quest, we'll specify text content in a few areas, specifically the dialogue, journal, and HUD text, add a simple condition that counts coins, and add the quest to a new quest database asset. Then we'll configure Johan to offer the quest. In the hierarchy, select the game object named Villager. He already has a quest giver component, but if he didn't, you'd want to add that. Set the ID section. We'll skip a text table for now. And we'll use the defaults for save settings and dialogue content. In the quests list, click plus to create a new slot and then click new to create a new quest. We'll call this find coins. That has been created as an asset file in our project and it's opened the quest editor for us. Click on blank area in the quest editor canvas. This will show the main quest properties. In the quest info section, we can see that it's set the ID and title based on the name of the asset. We could customize that if we preferred, but we'll just leave it as is. Set the icon, and we'll also use all the defaults for everything else. In the Offer section, under Offer Text, click Plus and select Body Text Quest Content. In Quest Machine, most text elements have three fields, a regular string, a string asset, and a text table. The latter two allow you to assign text from assets instead of adding text directly into the quest. They're covered in more detail in the Quest Editor chapter of the manual. For now, we'll use the regular string field. So enter the quest text. Now that we've defined the text that's shown in the dialog UI when offering the text, we can close this section and we'll go to counters. We need to define a counter to keep track of how many coins the player has found. Click plus to add a new counter. Name it coins. The current value will be zero and the max value will be three. We'll let the message system tell us when the player picks up a coin. Set value mode to messages and click the add message button. Then set message to get and parameter to coin. 
Messages are case sensitive, so use the exact spelling and capitalization. When the quest receives this message, it will modify the counter by the literal value of plus one. The quick start scene is configured to send this message, get coin, whenever the player picks up a coin in the scene. In the quest editor, right click on the start node and select new node condition. Then right click on the condition node and select new node success. Now let's add the quest text. When Quest Machine puts together the content for a UI, it first uses the content defined for the current main quest state. Then it adds the content defined for each node state. Click again on blank canvas area to inspect the main quest settings. Expand States Active. In the Journal Text section, add a Heading Text Quest Content. Click Use Quest Title to use the quest title. This will show the quest's title at the top of the journal entry. And do the same for HUD text. In the successful state, which the player can see after completing the quest, set the dialog text to something congratulatory and add a quest heading to the journal text. Click on the Condition 1 node. In the Quest node info, set the internal name to Find Coins. This is only visible in the editor, but it reminds you what the purpose of the node is. Then in the States section, set the Active and True content. Active content is shown when this node is active. In the HUD section, we're going to use a special tag. This tag at runtime gets replaced with the current value of the coins counter. In the true section, we'll add a different summary of the quest. And then we'll close the states section. In the conditions section, add a counter quest condition. Since our quest only has one counter, the counter dropdown defaults to coins. The counter needs to be at least three, so we set required counter value to three. When coins is at least three, this node's state will become true. Click on the success node. Success and failure nodes become true as soon as they go active. They set the main quest state to success or failure. Let's show an alert message when the player finds the third coin. In the States True section, add an alert quest action to the actions list. In the alert text list, 
add a body text quest content. And to add a little more juice, also add an audio quest action. And we'll set the fanfare audio to play. We're almost done. The last step is to add this quest to a quest database. The database gives Quest Machine access to your quests even if the quest giver is no longer present in the scene. Right click in the project view and select Create, Pixel Crushers, Quest Machine, Quest Database. Then add your new quest, Find Coins, to the quest database. Back in the scene, select Quest Machine, and we'll add our new quest database to the quest machine configuration. And now we can test our first quest. And there we go. We found all three coins. And the quest is complete. And that's it for the quick start tutorial. Thanks for watching.